everyone. Thanks for watching. Going to do a quick Zwift race analysis on this B class race. Some of the goals that I have for today are to stay with the front group. Always important. Can be really tough to do at times, but so important to the, the positioning in the race. Also, I want to make sure that I'm not following useless attacks. I've done that in the past, got into a small breakaway, and really just destroyed my race. Third and finally, I want to make sure I try to stay near the front of the group and just hang on to the end. So moving on here, you can see there's a few guys that are leading out in the front. And if you have just a couple out in front of you, I don't expend a whole lot of effort trying to chase down to the very front because that group behind is just going to be so powerful on a flatter course here with uh, the draft effect and you're going to draw everybody in pretty quick. You can see already a front group is establishing here about 20 to 25 people or so. I'm just going to try to stay mid-pack for as long as I can. You can still see that I'm, I'm burning a bit of power here at 300 watts or so. going to take a quick moment here to say if you like this type of video let me know and I can put a few more together I um, haven't done a lot of recording of my Zwift races but ha happy to do more of this to bring this content to everybody so skipping ahead a little bit here uh, this is the finish of the lead-in which actually accounts for about a quarter of the race Passing under the ramp here, or the, the gate there, um, get you a power up on this lap. I have a draft boost. It's not one of my favorite power ups, uh, so typically what I'll do is I'll burn that pretty early on and just use that additional draft boost to get a, a little bit of a reprieve, kind of a rest in the legs. So this group is actually staying pretty tight together. There's a couple of people that try to string out a little bit, but they, they never really go anywhere. Um, and that, that big group, because there's so many there, uh, just brings back in those, those quick little attacks uh, really, really pretty quick. So I, I don't follow a lot of those just because I don't want to be burning the, uh, the extra energy it takes to follow every single attack and have absolutely nothing left. So moving ahead here, you can see we're now on lap two. And the reason I brought this section in is because if you look on the mini map up in the top right, we're actually hitting some lap traffic here. It looks like that's the, uh, the D group that our, our B group is passing through. And if you look at my watts that I'm putting down, I'm putting a little bit of an extra effort through this section just because I don't want the group to get strung out while passing through the lap traffic and not be able to hang on with that front group. So I'm putting down a little extra power to, to make it through there and stay with the front group to have a, a good position for that final lap, which is coming up here soon. Kind of see the B group on that mini map kind of got a little bit strung out passing through that that D group. And I also get the shaft on the uh, power ups there the last two laps just getting the uh, XP bonus. Notice I always have a super high heart rate. I just have a naturally high heart rate, and it's, uh, you can never say I'm not putting an effort in. Now, if you look in the uh, top right there where I have pointed out a specific user, you can see he's at the front there, 
and putting in a bit of an attack at the front to try to establish a break since we're about two miles out. Um, at this point, I'm happy to let them go just because I don't want to expend the energy and the, the group that we have behind. With this being a flat course, that draft effect is so pronounced that unless you have a group of probably five to ten or more, they're not going to get away from a group of 15. And as you can see, it didn't take long, even though he was putting out six watts per kilo to catch him. Now on this last lap here, about a half mile uh, into the finish, this uphill stretch here is where a lot of people like to put in their digs to get some separation in the group. And you can see right here, I'm putting out seven to eight watts a kilo just to stay with the group. And at that point, I am hurting. You can watch my heart rate drift up pretty high. And I am going to do everything I can to try to hold on to the end. But already, they're just holding five to six watts a kilo for this last stretch. And that's just beyond my capability at this point. I'm a middle-of-the-pack B group racer. So uh, holding with that group is, is just not in my capabilities at this point. But I still held a pretty good position. And I went ahead and put in a bit of a sprint. Not a huge effort because I was gassed at this point, but enough to pull back into the group a little bit and uh, snipe a few people there right at the finish line. <sighs> so there you have it. I was pretty happy with the result just because I just recently in the last few months switched up to the uh, B group from C group previously. So I'm still... Uh, getting my legs under me but you can see from the video there I was entirely gassed um, had a lot of fun with it though if you have any other suggestions or tips let me know thanks for watching